One day in history, blacks were considered two-fifths of a person, not even half of a person. One day in the past, women were considered as second-class citizens to white middle-class or upper-class men, or even lower-class men. In, Ar in many Arab countries, this is still the case. Which in Saudi Arabia and the Sharia law, you have four male witnesses to prove rape. If you ask me, that's very backwards. But it's still a fact. They don't have the right to uh, drive in many cases also. Even if they come, there are the last couple of years, they have to have come some flexibilities in that, but still. Today, animals are not considered by our legal system. Persons. They are not considered to be humans. Even blacks were before the abolition of slavery, also not considered humans. They were considered savages, they were considered niggas, they were considered bondmen, serfs, submen, they were considered just a two-fifth of a person, of a human. Historically, the word human was used for the classification of one the legal person. So as historically, also the word humane. Before the 19th, 18th, 19th century, the words are completely interchangeable in the English language. Can you get where I go to? There are two options in this that make the same amount of sense. The first is that the word human means oppressor. The second one is that we are not humans, but we are hominid naked apes. That's the classification of our tree of a category of um, specific animals. The Yenean as well also belongs to that. And actually our ancestors, uh, from the point that we call ourselves Homo, Homo sapiens, Homo erectus, Homo ridiculous, so the call. Sometimes also Homo megalomania extrema, superbia would mean something like narcissistic, extremely proud man. <laughs> From the old English definition of man, would means our species actually, not uh, the meal. Where was uh, for male in the old English, and we was the word used for females in the old English language. Just an interesting fact I share with you. But what's your answer on this? You cannot deny the things I've presented to you today. Yeah, you can do, but then you are, are lying. At this time that we classified, other animals also, also have in humane qualities. Since that's around something like 70 percent of all the animals on the plant are herbivores. There are most likely therefore are animals who are far more humane and by that criteria if you take the sign that humane means that you have to be with mercy that you are that you have to be with um, lessons and not magnificent, 
you have to have good attentions and be doing the most moral thing in the situation, most decent thing in the situation. And therefore, there are for other animals who are just as much, maybe even far more worthy of being called human than us. Where if you, uh, you also can decide that the word absurd, that the word means oppressor, and I don't think that is something I will be very proud on to be called. I don't like it when somebody call me a dictator, but the way historically people have most of the time used it, when blacks were the victim of being not considered a person, or Europeans are not considered persons by Arabs in the time of um, the Dali Sultanate and the Ottoman Empire, also, uh, Indians were also not considered persons who were considered slaves in the Dalit Sultanate. If you want to know more about that, I have a Facebook article about some of that stuff. Um, maybe a couple of weeks ago. You can check that out if you want. We'll link it in the description below. Tell me in the comments. If you find this video interesting, now also become vegan and drop the anthropocentric, mindless robotic stage you are in. Like the white supremacists are in the mindless robotic stage of white supremacy. And rapists are in the mindless robotic stage of um, rapism. Or um, Toxic masculinity. All animals exist for their own reasons. They are not born for us. They are born with us. They are born for their own specific reason. They want to be free, they want to be happy. They have emotions, they have feelings, they can laugh, they feel, can feel pain, they can suffer. Just as you, just as me. So why cause unnecessary harm to them? Specific when you eat, can eat fruits, when you can eat lentils and can uh, eat things that are far less destructive to the environment and to the other animals. If you ask me, if you are not causing the least amount of harm possible, try to avoid unnecessary cruelty. You have no right to call yourself an humane man, humane female, humane male, or whatever. You have the only the right to call yourself a person since that word can be considered an actor, a facade, and character. When darkness and light become one, the reality is splintered away and the truth will become visible.